The rotary engine, also known as the Wankel rotary engine, is a type of internal combustion engine. It lacks many components you'd find in a conventional reciprocating piston engine, including pistons, the crankshaft, the camshaft, and valves. They are replaced by the following major parts. The eccentric shaft, rotors, which function as pistons, and fixed pinions, which determine the direction of the rotors. The engine itself is made up of an intermediate center housing, rotor housings forming working chambers, and front and rear housings that seal the working chambers and serve as the framework for the above-mentioned fixed pinions. A ring of long bolts holds the engine together. This is a two-section rotary engine, meaning it has two rotors. The engine's operation cycle consists of four strokes that take one revolution of the rotor or three revolution of the eccentric shaft. Stroke 1, intake. Stroke 2, compression. Stroke 3, power. Stroke 4, exhaust. During the first stroke, the intake, the rotor turns, thus increasing the volume of the working chamber, which is defined by the relative position of the rotor housing and the rotor. This generates vacuum pressure, which draws in the fuel-air mixture via the intake port. At the end of the stroke, the rotor closes off the intake port. The rotor continues to rotate during the second stroke, reducing the chamber volume and compressing the fuel-air mixture. At the end of this stroke, the compressed mixture is ignited with the help of one or more spark plugs. You can see that spark plugs are recessed into the rotor housing rather than sticking out. Besides, the combustion chamber is formed by a recess on each side of the rotor. The third stroke corresponds to the peak moment of combustion. This raises the temperature and generates a buildup of expanding gas pressure. Because of the pressure, the rotor rotates the eccentric shaft, thereby converting heat energy into mechanical work. During the fourth stroke, the rotor opens the outlet port and pushes the exhaust gases out of the reducing chamber. The operation cycle is then completed and repeated. Please keep in mind that a stroke happens on each of the rotor's three sides, which means that combustion occurs every 120 degrees of rotor rotation, or one revolution of the eccentric shaft, rather than every 360 degrees. The chambers are isolated by numerous rotor seals, the most critical of which are apex seals. Please note that inlet and outlet ports can be located not only in the rotor housing walls, but also in the center and side housings. Furthermore, the rotor housing may be devoid of inlet and outlet ports altogether. In the following videos, we will go through the engine's features, as well as its pros and cons. Bye guys!